Hello everybody and welcome to Bus Simulator 18. This is my first video and it's been sent to me by the publishers Astragon and it's actually developed by a company called um, Still Alive Studios. So today I'm going to be just giving it a quick go and seeing what I think initially. This is not the full version, well I say this, it's actually the pre-release version so it's not the final version. Um, so if you see glitches and stuff then obviously they should be fixed in the uh, the full version or soon after so yeah it's still in development just wanted to make that clear so yeah we need to first of all start the company and the company name which I thought of which let's be honest didn't take me too long to think of was Daggerwind Buses you can enable bankruptcy you can also change the trip mode to simplified or realistic I'm gonna have it on simplified and also the default map is the default map, there is nothing else at this stage. Uh, there's also the option for mods just there. So let's create this, and this is going to take us to another page where we can actually customise what our driver looks like, or what we look like. Uh, you can be male or female. Uh, you can choose a different colour shirt, trousers, tie, that sort of thing. And also choose the colour of your skin. So quite a diverse um, option for what your driver can look like. Okay, so this is the one I've already set up. I actually already customised this myself. I chose the green shirt and the beige tie and the blue trousers and all that kind of stuff. But you can choose between two different uniform types and obviously change the colours. And you can choose between male or female. So we're going to go with uniform 1 and male. And as I say, you can change the skin tone, hair colour. You can really go quite crazy actually with the hair colour. And yeah, the secondary colour is the trousers, the primary colour is the shirt. But I didn't really want to focus on this too much because I would like to get straight into it uh, as it is a fairly uh, fast paced video this. Although I say it's fast paced but actually we're going to do the tutorial which will still take a while. And it will be a little bit slow at times because there is nothing really uh, that I'll need to say too much because this lady will speak for us. Anyway, look at this sweet Mercedes Citaro K. It's straight off the lot over in Sunny Springs. Of course, it's a smaller model, but I'm sure everyone in town will be hopping onto this bus and our little project in no time. I'm sure they will. Right, let's get onto it. There is actually a button just here. We can get into the cockpit. Great. I'll just take a seat over there while you make yourself comfortable in the driver's seat. I'm very comfortable, thank you. Right, so we can actually change uh, to third person by pressing F1. As you can see, pressing F1 again goes back to first person. Take your time to familiarize yourself with the controls. Don't forget to close the doors and remember to turn on the lights. So you can see, very detailed, you can actually interact with all these buttons, which is very nice indeed. Uh, we can use a shortcut to close the doors if we want to, but I'm actually going to use this button just here for now. Uh, we also have, I think the, that should be the rear door I think, but yeah, basically numpad 1 and 2, and actually 1 and 2 anyway uh, do function those doors. So to start the ignition we have to, or start the engine, we have to obviously use the ignition. Press this three times, that's turning the key. There we go. And um, yeah, turn on the headlights by pressing the indicated cockpit button, L, or you know, do that. So, we also need to have lights on. We can press all of these, or we can just press 8, 9, and 0 on the keyboard to switch I them on. I think you may be a bit taller than the driver who delivered the bus. Don't forget to adjust your seat after you've started up the engine. I'm actually really comfortable, yeah. We'll just have a slide around, Are though. Are you ready to bring public transport back to Seaside Valley? Great! No! Then release the parking brake and let's head for the exit. I'm not ready. I'm playing with my seat. Okay, that's better. No, wait, no. Okay, that's good. No. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, let's take the parking brake off. And we're going to accelerate. As we do. There is actually a GPS, which I'm sure it will mention. Oh, before I forget, I've got a little surprise for you. Just follow the route on the GPS. I'm following it, don't you worry. I'm also using my steering wheel. So it should be fairly smooth steering. You see, my predecessor wasn't a fan of public transport, which is why they shut it down in the first place. In Sunny Springs, where I used to work, we collaborated closely with the local bus company, which improved the satisfaction of our residents significantly. 
So there are some big brands, which is nice. It's always good to have the real brands instead of just, you know, these fake brands, which they sometimes put into games. One thing I've definitely noticed is the traffic is very heavy in Seaside Valley. Right. It's our turn. Seems to be our right of way all the time. That's good. Plenty of red lights, though. Ah, your brake lights are blinding me. I can't see a thing. In all seriousness, though, I've already played this game a little bit. I've done the tutorial. And I honestly think that uh, it, this game has got a lot of potential. It's a lot better than some other bus simulation games I have played in the past. Should indicate. Actually, if you do stuff correctly, um, you do get bonuses. And if you do stuff wrong, like crashing or hitting potholes, you will be penalised. I hope to remember your training because I've invited a couple of people along on our maiden voyage. Just park close Next stop, Victory Road. That shuts her up. <laughs> right, here we are. So yeah, let's open the front door. And we actually do have the rear door too. Hello everybody. Good morning, Miss Tunhauser. Glad you could make it. Hello, Mira. Thank you for inviting me. Hey, Sam. How's your daughter? Thanks, Mira. She's she knows everybody. Well, I'm gonna close the doors She's while they're lively, busy chatting away. Glad to have you here. Everybody, please take a seat. We'll be departing shortly. No, we're departing now. I'm leaving without you. Let's go. Next stop, River Promenade. Now, this is the hard part. Do you see that clock? Do you think you can make it to the next stop in time? Yep. I'm so glad so many people have turned up just for this little test drive. They really seem pleased with the prospect of once again having a working public transportation network. So I'm sure you did just see the pothole back there, and if you do hit it, it will register in your log. Um, so it really is a good idea not to be going into the potholes, and definitely do not crash, because uh, the the penalties for that are, are fairly high. The next stop is right over there. Well, we've done that with over a minute to spare. That's very good. Oh no, don't! <laughs> I almost opened the doors. There are a couple of great restaurants around here. It's a good job I didn't open the door on the move because we'd have lost our passengers. Right. Let's see who gets on and off. May I introduce you to my fiance? Hey honey, the neighbors asked if they could borrow a lawnmower. Lawnmower? Sure. Send them my regards. Looks like we're good to go again. Oh wait, someone's blocking the door. Get out the door. You please step back from the door. Sit down. This is Dagoin buses. It's strict, very strict rules here. Right. I'm afraid the driver's got stuck. Bear with me. Bear I with me. I think we've got them all now. Oh joy. Did you know that this bus has a Bluetech diesel Euro 4 engine? It has an output of 210 kilowatts. I did a lot of research before we decided on this model. Next stop. I really love to walk this promenade in the summer. You always have a light breeze. And the trees offer some shade. I'm trying to talk, but obviously she is uh, speaking quite a bit. So, yeah, as you just saw, I did hit the curb and it did register. So that's now in the log. Um, but also if you indicate correctly and stuff, that will also be registered. I'm indicating randomly too. Um, so we're actually doing all right for time. Pretty good. Um, yeah, I think... Like I say, I think this game has got a lot of potential. Even the mirrors work. That is one thing I haven't noticed, mastered yet. Whoa. And that is the beep. I always thought that was when somebody wants to get off. But obviously we're on a job here, we're on a mission. So I don't think we're supposed to stop at this stage. Unless it means something else, I'm not too sure. But we're going left at the end of here. Or a train. So as you can see as well, we've also got the ticket machine, which we're going to use very soon. It's going to take me a while to get used to the change, when we have to give change. But I'll get there one day. 
Okay, so I used the indicator correctly again. Except I left it on, which I shouldn't have done. I don't know how well you can hear the lady talking, because I obviously I've been playing around with the sounds uh, to try and get a good balance, but I don't know. She may still be a bit quiet. There's a pothole. Do not hit potholes. As I just did. Okay, Lido. We're going to be pulling over up here. With plenty of time left. That was a muddy puddle or something. Our next stop is over there. Oh, sorry. I'm just super excited. Oh, we've got a wheelchair. Gonna have to put the ramp out. Hello, folks. Right, everybody in. And we're gonna have to do the wheelchair ramp as well. Um, why do you disappear? Don't disappear. Right. Hello. A ticket, please. Hello. Oh, this is just a test okay, drive. hang on, hang on. We're gonna have to do the man with the wheelchair in a second. First of all, the wheelchair. So you select the ticket duration. The passenger requests a single ticket. Um, hey, I didn't think you'd show up. And a student. Hey, Mira. Yeah. They sure. want one, so oh, print that. And they want to return change by clicking the highlighted me. buttons. This is where I always mess up. I don't know exactly what they want. Um, really? then let's hope this yeah, I don't know how they work, actually. Have a nice day. Oh, maybe you do it that way. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. So that's leaving 120. There we go. Exit the ticket machine. And now there is a man behind, like I say. He would like to get on the bus. There you go. Welcome on board Daggerwind Buses. Okay, that's going to have um, delayed us a bit. These potholes are terrible, they're everywhere. Just like real life. There are even a couple of people I don't know here. Seems word has gotten around. Nice and clear this roundabout. We are flying. Nothing but an efficient service over at Dagoin buses. Right, whoa, look at that building. Ah, the super bright brake lights. Well, I think we're going to be here a while, because I think everybody is turning left. We're going left as well. Um, but yeah, because of the oncoming traffic, it does mean that it's going to be very slow for us. Luckily, we have two and a half minutes left. But even so, it's chock-a-block, this place. Really busy. Obviously, Seaside Valley is a, a popular place to be. Yeah, we may be here sometime. It's eating into our overall uh, allocated time. I have to put the parking brake on. Oh, just as I do that, we're bound to move. Right, quick, come on, accelerate before anybody else comes. Perfect. Oh, no, almost perfect. I hit the curb. Yeah, I know, I forgot the indicator, I always do. I was expecting it to auto cancel, actually. So, I'm hopefully going to be doing some more videos of this in the future. Uh, probably after it's been released, actually. But, this is our final destination in the tutorial. So we'll pull over here. Luckily we still have a minute and a half left, so we're very efficient. Right, everyone off. To everybody who's still on board, I want to thank you for participating in this drive. With your support, we'll bring public transport back to Seaside Valley. I'm sure he will. Oh, he's still... He's still on the bus. <laughs> he, he can't get off. Here you go. Right. Floor it. We're going now. No, no, the driver's gone out. 
Okay. Are we clear? Yep, good. So we have to take it back to the depot. Uh, again, We've been talking to some may take a while. Designers to create some decals and wraps to customize our buses. Hopefully, we'll get some design submissions soon. That is nice. That is the signs of a, an involved game, very in-depth game. If we can actually put custom designs on the buses too, then it will really have an immersive feel to it. They're turning right. We want to go straight on. It does seem detailed. And I love the detailing of the bus. I think that's very good. I'm not quite so keen on maybe the glare from the brake lights. It's incredibly bright. Maybe at night, but maybe not in the day. Yeah, we're not timed anymore. So that takes the stress off it a bit. It is good though, because it's going to make us much more aware to timekeeping. Much more aware of timekeeping. Like in real life, if you're not so good at it, then this could help. Okay, so we're going in the end bay. Go through the puddle, it's fun. Let's go through here. And that should do it. All, I think that was a rather successful maiden voyage. Yeah, it was pretty good. Congratulations. Okay, so I'm going to turn the ignition off. Um, I think all the lights are off except for the headlights. There we go. And we can exit by pressing C. Let me just collect my things. We've put some systems in place so you can start planning out routes and growing our little project. Let me show you real quick. Okay. Okay. I've written down a number of things we should try before we get you back out on the road. It's just to make sure the infrastructure is okay and ensure we can deliver a robust public transport system. First things first, City Hall wants us to run a pilot night line just to see how many people would use it. They'll finance an additional bus for you in return. I've already prepared a route for this and spread the word. Select the pre-existing route and drive it by night. Okay, so yeah, you can see the route is here. Start the trip. It's already set to night time. Let's begin. Tells you a lot of information about the bus there as well, which I think is really good. The fact they actually do point out uh, all of the bus's information is very nice indeed. Right, so this is where we need to be. Do we have the lights on? Still loading. Uh, yeah, I think I've... Yeah, all the lights are on. There is a bit of lag when you just start off the game. But after that, it's fine. Okay. Come on in, folks. All aboard. I don't know. Go wherever you want to. Nothing but a, a warm welcome on Dagoin buses. Sounds like some fairly grumpy people on this bus, actually. It's going to be a fairly dull atmosphere. Next stop, Research Center. Right. To the next place. Let's see if we can get some more cheery people. This bunch are just moaning about the weather. Trying to drive fast so that we can get there and get this lot off. So we're going to the Zellerman Research Center. Hey, who's playing with my buzzer? If oh, that's what it is. Darn. I forgot to get something for dinner. Oh well, pizza it is. Pizza sounds good. Right, who's getting off? You're getting pizza. Yeah, we did hit that speed bump at some speed. Good. Was that the grumpy man who got off? I said bye, bye. You certainly can. You want one week regular ticket. One week regular. And I guess one. Good. Anybody else? No? Okay. I want to zoom out. Nobody stood in the doorway this time. Good. Okay, how are we doing? It's clear. Yeah, so if you do crash, it can really 
be expensive. North spoke. We are a bit behind the time here. Not by too much though, it's just a few seconds. Right, quick, everyone on and off, we need to go fast. Go, 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 go. Bye. We're making up time. I like that they interact, they do speak. One ticket, please. You would like a singular regular. Single regular, yes. Sorry, this bus driver is confused. And you want change as well, do you? Yes, you oh, you've paid with a 20, and it's only £2.20. <sighs> right, uh, you can have a 10. Is that, hang on. That's a 10p. Wait. We'll get there one day. Thanks. Yeah. Thank I you. Tickets, Ugh. Two senior single tickets. Two. Do not pay with a 20. Thank you. You want £1.40. You are welcome. Right. Let's go. Do not make the angry... Oh, that's making me angry. Right. The angry, grumpy bus driver. Passenger comfort is still key, though. Even on the shocking service, which is Dagoin buses. Oh no, I fell asleep. Is that being rude about our driving? I don't know. I think I've moved in my seat. I seem to be sat a long way forward. I don't want to be. Please don't want to take it. I, need a few I knew you would. Now someone's phone ringing. Right, uh, two weeks senior. Good, fifty pounds. So you want two pound changed? That's good. You are an easy customer. We're trying to make up time. Better check the mirror. Good. It is clear. A passenger is listening to really loud music. I can hear. <laughs> I ignore the loud music. I do like this. I think that the game is making it very involved. Obviously, I am uh, role playing here with the grumpiness. Still indicating. I think playing the loud music was okay because like, it's not like people are sleeping on here. That seemed to go quite well. Is that everybody? Return to the garage or hit N to complete the trip immediately. No, we'll, we'll return. We'll drive the whole way. Although, it may take a while. At least that was clear. How far is it though? It might be a while. But no, as we drive back, I'm not going to give my opinion on what I think of the game so far. And this is not because... Whoa, that was super close. Uh, I'm reviewing it. Well, I'm not really reviewing it, actually. I'm just giving it a first look. Um, but I think, like I say, it's got potential. It seems like a, an addictive game to play. Um, it seems well put together. I've not seen any glitches, as far as I'm aware. Um, and I like that the passengers are not just like these solid objects which move around and get on and off the bus and don't say a thing. They all have something different to say, even if it's negative. You can really uh, get to know them a bit. So yeah, here we go. This is the final stop just up here. Um, were they trying to overtake? I don't know. I was just slowing down for the speed bump. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Ah, oh, well, there would be a lorry coming. Which one? This one?
Also, the fact you can damage the bus is good too. Okay, let's just turn the ignition off. Uh, no, I don't want to open the doors. I want to turn the lights off though. There we go. Unboard the bus. Oh, I do want to open the door. I assume. There we go. So, I like it. I really do. Cash flow, £26,147. Uh, so we've unlocked some new items, a new colour, and a new bus. Uh, it looks like we actually get rated two, three and a half stars. Well, it's alright for somebody who is role-playing the grumpy bus driver. Quite happy with that. Um, this is looks like it was mainly because I, I left turn signal on straight. I had to speed bump too fast and ignored a passenger plane allowed music, so definitely don't ignore that. Um, but that does seem pretty good. The income from the current trip was £158.20, so that's good. And everything can be seen in these overall statistics. I genuinely do like the game. I would love to play it more. I will do. Like I say, it might be after release, just because then it's the final version. Um, but it's, it's definitely good. It's got potential. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do an actual review. Um, this was just the first video, so please don't sort of take it as a review. Uh, if anything, sort of allow it to give you an idea of what you think of it from seeing it just on this video. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.